Good morning. It is time for another full indoor garden update. It's been about a month since I did this. I wanted to wait until there were actually things to see in the garden. On the last video, everything was tiny. And I actually got a comment from a very rude watcher that said he watched my video without sound because he did not want to hear my excuses for a room full of failure. I don't think that person will be able <laughs> to see this because I have blocked him. Um, but I kind of wish I didn't. So he could actually see that this is not a room full of failure. There's a couple failures, but hey, that happens all the time. So I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. I tend to talk a lot and um, ramble on. But I'm going to try to see if I can keep this under 10 minutes. <laughs> so let's start over here. This is my lettuce. One of the first things I started, and it is getting to the point where um, it's time to let it go. So this week, I'll be finishing this off. The romaine still looks amazing. This here, I can't even read the tag. I'm not sure what this is. This is the Arrow Garden um, Heirloom Salad Kit. And two of the plants that were in here were getting shaded out, one here. And one over in the back, they did not grow, so I moved them. Look at them now. That's this one here and that one. Absolutely beautiful. So I have some new lettuce started in another unit that we'll get to. Um, and when I finish these off, I may start some more in here because I need to start eating more salad. We are trying to get in shape for our upcoming reunion <laughs> next July. Down here. This is an experimental garden right now, or let's call it a germination place. Looks like I mixed these up. So these are some spinach seeds in one through four, and then two cucumber seeds. Oh, maybe that blew them off. The fan blew them off. Um, so far, no germination in there. So I'm gonna try something different with those. Over here, we have dwarf Siberian kale. That's growing very well and it's tasty. On this side, we have Egyptian spinach. I just tasted this for the first time yesterday because it was hitting the light, so I chopped it down a bit. Then we have two smaller Egyptian spinach plants in there. Up here, we have four different types of arugula. There was supposed to be some wasabi, and I forget what the other one in here, they did not germinate. This is just an extra little gem seedling that came out of my other unit, Little Gem Lettuce. It may not grow because these are in the way, but instead of just pulling it out, I just stuck it in there. Then over here, these are my um, DWC kits from Amazon. This was on an awesome deal. I got both tubs, the pump, the net cups, everything needed minus the clay pebbles for 40 bucks. So I love these because they are so versatile you can do so much and as you see I was able to allow my lettuce to really spread out um, I put some more I don't even remember what I planted there's some more little lettuces in here so I might not put lettuce in the other one because that's a lot of lettuce this one I have not decided exactly what I'm going to plant yet then now here we have my cilantro which I talked about before um, I just raised the light the other day because I realized the light was too low and I need to start harvesting some of this I actually have not bothered it much and I think it's suffering because of that pruning always helps herbs grow faster so I'm gonna do some pruning I'm gonna use some cilantro and then here we have my click and grow full of basil I'll have to check what day this is and um, put it on the screen because I don't remember I have not harvested any of this yet either so it's time to start harvesting this and it's time to add water. When this float goes down, that means it's time for water. And this unit is not on, even though it's almost 8 o'clock. I would like it to come on before this, but I keep forgetting to get up and come down and do this. Okay, there's the light. Over here, we have my little tiny, adorable Microdorf tomatoes. This one is the orange hat. No flowers yet, but buds are there. This one is the um, baby micro. Look at all those adorable little tomatoes. These plants both max out at about, um, I think one of them, six to eight inches. Yeah, they're both six to eight inches they max out at. And as you can see, 
even though it's so small this one already has a ton of tomatoes i'm looking forward to trying the orange hat because everyone loves it and while we're over here in this corner these are my two habanero plants that you might remember i brought inside on um, november 1st they were sickly looking they were scrawny they lost all the leaves look at them now look at all those beautiful leaves and they are both loaded with flowers so i should have some more peppers very soon here we have one of my basils that i just put in this cracky jar the other day this is a cutting from my outside garden uh, I believe this is the Emerald Towers basil. That's why it's so tall and beautiful. These kind of grow up, 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 like uh, taller than most basil would. So I'm gonna start using some of that as well. Up here, we have a new addition. There's a great guy um, that I know from the Facebook groups named Reese Allen. I will put links to his project below, but he sent me this wonderful DWC kit to try out. I just started my butter crunch lettuce in here uh, on the 12th, December 12th. So this is it now. But so what this is, is a DWC kit with not only a water pump inside, but also an air pump. And he created a float. Uh, he has these clips on here so you can keep it securely closed. So the bucket was purchased, the knob was purchased, the pump was purchased. This pump I already had. But everything else he 3D printed. He 3D printed the float. He 3D printed the clips. He 3D printed these covers. And he did an awesome job. So he's making this available on Tinkercad. So anyone who wants to create a similar kit can just download his files and print all the parts and put it together yourself. And the tub came from Ikea. These are only $2.99 each. So it's really affordable. This is just extra clay pebbles. Nothing going on there. Over here, we have the other basil that I just mentioned. As you can see, part of this didn't look so happy. I chopped it down. The rest looks great, so it'll start recovering probably. This is my Tokyo Bacana mustard. I just harvested a bunch of this the other day, and I just um, harvested a few leaves of this winter choy. This is some thyme just randomly stuck in here, which I'm trying to see if maybe it might ward off aphids. One of those plants, even, even though I was very careful, when I brought those peppers in, I must have brought in a couple of aphids. So I've been fighting them. I think I finally got rid of them. I'm going to continue to spray for a few more days, those two plants, these two, just to be sure that they are gone. This is going over 10 minutes. I'm gonna tell you that now. <laughs> this is my lemon spice jalapeno pepper. This one has uh, grown a little more slowly than the others. I just topped it the other day. You can see right there where I topped it, see for the focus. And what that is, is you wait for about this amount of leaves or a little less sometimes. You break off those top two and it encourages the plant to spread out more. I don't always top them, but I'm trying it as an experiment since it's inside. Back there, we have one of my tomatoes, which I keep forgetting to look up the name. I'll put it on the screen. Wurisky or something like that from M.I. Gardener. Um, this is a dwarf tomato plant. This is my celery. I am going to put a picture on the screen of what this looked like before. So this was a little tiny celery plant that I had outside. It didn't grow much because it was shaded out by a pepper plant. I brought it inside. I stuck it in here at the beginning of November. All of the outside stalks died off and flapped over, which you may have seen in the last video. I cut all of those off and allowed it to grow pretty new stalks and look at it now so what I'm probably going to do is tie this up she wants celery to kind of grow straight up anyway so it's just not flapping all over the place over here ignore the open holes I have to put some new covers there this is my serendipity D dwarf tomato just starting to flower I saw one yep there we go there's a flower right there and this is the one that was a cutting again from outside it's doing great over here we have my napa cabbage this thing is massive i just um harvested a bunch of really huge outside leaves yesterday because i'm going to do that and allow it to form the head in the middle look at that it's starting now i don't know about these brown tips 
I'll have to look that up. However, it is also feeding day. Um, so these haven't had any nutrients in two weeks. Actually, maybe a little over. I need to sync everything back up on schedule. So I'll be feeding them today. And I will be sure to give them extra dose of cow mag. My beans. Look at that. That is a bean. These are my bush beans and my bounty basic. There are eight plants in there. It looks a little crowded, but also very pretty. As you can see, tons of flowers. I added that trellis behind it, brought that in from outside. And there are more beans hiding. There's one. So I'm excited. This is day, um, around day 40 for these, I think. So we're starting to get beans. Now let's go down here. Little Jim Lettuce, brand new. Just did this a few days ago, December 11th. So they all have seedlings now. So that's gonna be filled with Little Jim Lettuce. That is a um, small type of romaine. Over here, the Strawberry Runner Experiment. There'll be a separate, separate whole video on this and what I've done. For now, I'll just give you the brief. Brought runners in from outside strawberry plants, put them in here. Um, I don't remember the exact date. Oh, yes, I do. November 7th. Rooted some in water, stuck a bunch here in this I do. This one is brand new, had to replace it. The rest are catching up finally after getting roots. But as you can see, this one is just like, look at me, look at me. And then since we're on strawberries over here, there's some more. The one in the back actually has flowers, which I'll show you later. And then over here, time to start eating this too. This is um, milk bok choy. This is a small, like baby variety of bok choy. This is in the Trucanon unit and it didn't grow all that great. This unit, the light tends to make seedlings very leggy. Um, so I don't know, I might just use this for herbs or something in the future not sure anyway but i'm gonna eat these too over here another new addition sun heat unit as you can see i have some pea sprouts in there the rest of these are all empty i need to figure out fast what i'm going to do with those might just put some more peas but it's only it's only been a few days and i have these cute little pea sprouts in there that is the tom thumb pea a very small variety Let's move on to over here. Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous tatsoys. This is regular tatsoy, which just looks amazing. This is red tatsoy, which is so pretty. I've eaten a few leaves of this one already. I have not bothered that one yet. Up here, more peppers, mostly. Um, this is the little ornamental pepper that remains unnamed. I have no clue what it is. Came from a local nursery. This is a new sugar rush peach plant it's either sugar rush peach or sugar rush peach stripey started two seeds only one took and i'm not sure which that is so it'll be a nice surprise here we have my wicked pepper it is time to start harvesting these aren't they beautiful they are gorgeous and then we have my fish pepper oh the wicked pepper was also brought in from a small outside plant the fish pepper which is gorgeous now was a cutting from outside. It was like the last cutting that I didn't think was going to make it, but it made it. Then we have three KSLS, that's King Star Lemon Starburst. I'm doing it three different ways for testing and results. So we have one in the 32 ounce jar, we have one in one of my Botanium vases, and we have one in the one gallon bucket. As you can see, the size makes a huge difference. The bigger the container, the bigger the plant. No flowers or anything going on there yet, but I will keep you posted on that. And then we have another strawberry. This one is in a cracky jar, so I can easily show you the roots. Look at the gorgeous roots. And it's doing very well. It's growing tons of beautiful leaves, so I'm excited about that. And yeah. Flowers are coming on this one. Look at that. I am so excited. I just need to um, either point a fan right at this or pollinate them manually when they show up. And over here we have two gardens full of herbs. 
So there's Genevieve basil, Thai basil, dill, curly parsley in there, chives, some more beautiful thyme. And this garden is all cuttings from outside. So we have rosemary cuttings, thyme cuttings, uh, what's that, marjoram or tarragon, marjoram. And then we have more thyme over here and sage. All doing well, all have roots. This one I'm going to chop way down today um, so it can start some more. And then look at my tomatoes. So these were the tomatoes that germinated from the fallen tomato outside. Up here we have three Arrow Garden Heirloom Cherry Tomato plants. Down here we have two. And look at this. That one's just about ready. We have tons more turning in there. I am excited about that. And recent additions. I'm always adding. I think I'm done now. <laughs> this is a bounty unit. Nothing in it yet. Over here we have a bounty elite. Nothing in it yet. Oh, let me fix this. And this is the Harvest XL. Arrow Garden's newest garden. I think I need to hold that again. So you hold the lights down, the button, to make it come on at the time you want. And there are two pepper seeds up here. Mini Bell, Pippin's Golden Honey. Nothing coming from them yet because it's only been a few days. I think I actually covered everything. 16 minutes. Not too terrible. Not too terrible. Um, so today, I'm going to try to decide what to do in the empty gardens. And I'm going to harvest, as I mentioned, a bunch of the lettuce. Um, maybe my first tomato. I don't know. I'm going to harvest some herbs and some of that bok choy for dinner. All right. Please stay tuned. I have more videos coming up on some tips and tricks. And I hope you enjoy. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe.